Hello, I've been doing this series on putting together my December daily for 2018 and I wanted to explain a little bit because I've been getting several comments asking what is a December daily, what is it used for? So um, I thought this was my fourth year in a row. I think this may be my fifth. No, it is my fifth in a row. So um, I had just found out about it because I saw other people making them on YouTube, but I didn't realize until now is that the concept was actually created by someone named Allie Edwards, and I'm going to give you the link to her blog uh, down below in my video description box. And from her website, it says that the December Daily is a mini album project that documents the 25 days leading up to Christmas. The simple goal is to capture the spirit of Christmas via one story per day. So that's it in a nutshell. How, you know, that's all I know about it is what I just read on her website. Um, so how you go about that is totally up to you. The first one that I did was a smash book. I will give you also the link down below to the smash book flip through for that one so you can see what I did. One year I did one that was just, it was called a uh, December Daily Index Card, which is you just made this folder to hold all these index cards, and every day you wrote an index card and put it in the slot. So um, that one, you know, was very easy to do. Um, this year, uh, one year I did this one. This was a pre-made album that you just, you know, all the pages were in here. You just had to glue things in. And it was fun putting together. This was a gift from a friend. My only problem with this one was... I got uh, crazy busy and didn't get a chance to actually finish it all the way out, but it's so beautiful. Um, and then obviously this one here that I'm working on now. And so just a little bit of tidbits information here uh, on the project. I had designed for this project these, in, uh, not index cards, but these journaling cards because I didn't want to use Project Life. They were all on white cards. I wanted this off-white, so I designed a 3x5 uh, landscape and vertical journaling cards that can be used. They fit in here better than a Project Life anyway, so I'm going to be able to use these. And I cr The document that I created, uh, I made into PDFs for both of these, so you can print them out yourself and cut them out and use them however you want to. And then also the title that says December Daily plus all the days, 1 through 25, is also in this file, so you'll be able to use those as well. Um, print those out. The information's down below. Oh, I just realized, I forgot, last year was this one. I made the December memory decks. So I'll call it December daily decks. And so I have a card for each day and on the back is a, uh, a pocket that I put in a card that I wrote on every day, kind of like a little mini diary. So that was my one for last year. Now back to this, uh, I was thinking while I have you all here is I wanted to do something for this pocket and um, I'm noticing these little strips that I've been cutting off um, would work as a little decoration across there. I think I'm not going to put it all the way up to here because it's kind of rounded right there and I don't want it to um, keep popping up because of the opening and shutting of the book. gives it a little extra detail and I was also thinking that I might put one of these on there as well not positive just checking it out this would be cute but it's too deep this one would fit right there this fits on the pocket there we go now my thought too was to until I use these it's always handy to have some right at hand. Right there. Okay, and the back. Probably need to do something to the back, right? Let's see what else I have here. Um, ba -bum -bum. I really like this. I'm going to use that somehow. These all, this one works, and I'm thinking I might use this blue strip across there. It is a sticker. put the 
this back on there. And then I was thinking that these, oh, it's a sleigh. Okay. I didn't realize it was this whole piece, but it's still of a short enough profile that it, it works in here. Okay. Let's get these in there. Okay, very cute. One other thing while I have this all out is I was thinking of making a paper clip using one of my um, paper clip blanks. I can't find my Better Ultimate Adhesive today. I don't know what I did with it, so I'm back to using the E6000 temporarily. Okay. Now my thought is to use one of these um, designs here. Ooh, that would be really good for the um, the actual Christmas day here. I'm gonna set that down there temporarily while I figure out. I want to put something behind it, so I have to think here. Bum -ba -dum. I have this, I've said it before, I love organza ribbon, and I just got these. I was thinking, I can't wait until the store has all their spool ribbon on sale, and the very next Sunday, Hobby Lobby announced that um, the spool ribbon would be 50% off. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I might want to I'll leave it the same height. Okay, probably need to get this prepped. And might need, well, the glue is going in between the layers, so I think it's coming through to the top, so I don't have to worry about that. But I do need a little extra something here. I am gonna put a little dab there anyway. Okay, and a little extra right there. All right, so I'm just gonna hold that for a minute and then that will go into my notebook and then when I it gets time to be, till I get to the December 25th page, it will be in there sticking out of the top. So that would be a really cute embellishment toward the top as well. Loving it. I love having the, um, the ribbon sticking out. So I have a lot of links to give you down below. So make sure you open the video description box to get all that information. Thank you for watching.